what is going on youtube so today i want to do a quick video for you guys in regards to the amd and the intel chip and how to find out which chip your car has and uh you know leave any comments for those that have the intel and also that have the amd and i'll give you my personal um you know feedback uh, regarding that so basically yeah, gone into this article that was released back in uh, december 3rd and it talks about the differences between uh, Tesla Model Y is in Shanghai, China. Now, this is about a month old, but it's still relevant to the content I'm going to talk to you about today. So the article talks about the two chips in question in Tesla's new Gigafactory in China. So you'll see that most Teslas had the Intel Atom E3950 CPU, and now they've been updated with the AMD Ryzen Solution chip. I'm not sure if it's Ryzen or Ryzen. So Anyways, this chip is the one that's in use in the Model S and the Model X, and you're going to see that it has a lot better performance. So as the article states, that to open a YouTube app on the AMD, it only has about 4.17 seconds. To do it on the Intel chip is about 17.12 seconds. So, you know, it's four times the lag that you have with the Intel chip in comparison to the AMD chip. Now, the time the article came out, the AMD chip was only limited to the Model S, Model X, and also the Model Ys in China. It now looks as if Tesla's gonna be doing that moving forward with the AMD chips, also on the Model 3s as well. Now, I do wanna let you know that, according to another article that I read about a day ago, that does show that if you have the AMD chip on your Tesla compared to the Intel, you're going to suffer a little bit of range, so decrease. So your range is approximately going to decrease about 3.6%. So if you have the AMD chip, it's going to be a lot faster. It's going to process, but it's also going to drain the battery. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so now I want to show you guys how to find out what chip you have in the car. So right now I'm um, in the browser app what you want to do is go to the little Tesla icon here, which is basically your home button. So you're going to click on that. As you click on that, you have all these controls, your car name, all these functions, if sentry mode, how to adjust your mirrors and your steering wheel, your windshield wipers, all these other things I'll make another video about. But now I want to show you guys how to find out what chip you have. So you're going to click on software and then it's going to tell you everything about the car. The, the dual motor, it's a performance, the name of the car, how many miles, the VIN number, and you're gonna click on additional vehicle information. Now this is where you're gonna find out what chip you have. So you're gonna see the Auto Systems Premium, Autopilot, full self-driving computer. So you wanna go all the way down to infotainment processor right there. And you see that I have the Intel Atom chip, not the AMD chip. So in theory, it should take a lot longer for it to load Netflix. As I mentioned in the article, AMD chip about four seconds. In the Intel chip, it takes about 17 seconds. So let's just confirm that real quick. We go to theater, we go to Netflix, and let's see how long that's going to take. So we, so yeah, it does take a lot longer as you see. Yeah, so, Again, it is very, you know, four times as slow. So you'll see how long it's taken it to open. And it still hasn't opened. Okay, so there we go. So that's finally open. So now, just get out of here. So then we go back to software and additional vehicle. So there you have it. It tells you the chip right there so you just want to make sure you go to your home button in your software and then that's where you find the information uh please leave a comment you know let me know what you guys think let me know those that have the amd and the intel and honestly i didn't know it was going to be an issue i didn't think it was that bad until i found out that the amd chip is a lot better now that's up to you if you want to sacrifice three percent of range i personally would let me know what you think please like subscribe and uh appreciate you guys watching take care